in, uh, when I was in high school, you gotta imagine, you guys are, you guys are in Mississippi, Biloxi. I grew up in South Carolina. I was a spiky haired kid. Two earrings. I dressed like Don Johnson. I didn't play sports. I didn't know anything about cars. I had no chance of getting laid. So I learned how to play piano. And I had a goal. What I would do is I would show up at parties, at high school parties, with a Lionel Richie song book tucked up under my arm. And at some point of the night, if I got to the party and there was a piano, I was stoked. I'd pull out a song book. And I would wait. Somewhere late in the night, all the jock guys would either get to a fight or pass out. And I would play piano for their girlfriends. Patience is a virtue. Because when I was young, all I wanted to do was write a song like Lana Ritchie, man, because Lana Ritchie was the shit. And I wanted to write like a. Uh, no sounds funny, but I just can't stand. So I set off, I set off to rip off Lana Ritchie. I wanted that vibe. I wanted to change just enough chords where I couldn't get sued. Years, years later, actually just a few years ago, I was in LA and Lana, who is now my buddy. Yeah. I, I was hanging out with him in a bar and I was like, Lana, I gotta tell you, your songs have gotten me so laid. And I swear on my life, without missing a beat, he went, me too. I don't think he was lying, folks. <laughs> so I, um, so I wanted to write my own easy vibe, right? So I, I wrote this song that I was very excited about. And uh, when I was working on my first solo record, I brought it to my producer, Matt Solenic. And we're, you know, we're in a little studio somewhere in Manhattan. And he comes in and he's like, okay, show me what you got. So I'm playing this song and I, myself, am stoked. Right, because I'm thinking I'm about to lay some shit on him. It's gonna blow his mind. Right. So, just to give you a glimpse of the process, I'm gonna play you, this is the verse that did not make it onto the record, the one that I thought was the shit. Well, on a clear day, this apartment becomes the life like it never does in me. Don't you think so? Take a long way past the front door a Half a mile past the liquor store To the grocery for some coffee Yeah, yeah. so So I'm playing this song And I play it like I play it with conviction And he's like, alright bro, let me stop you right there I dig the vibe. Lionel Richie's sexy, get it? But if I'm not mistaken, the song you just played me is a song about you sitting in your house on a clear day. And the most exciting thing that happens to you all fucking day <laughs> is you walk to get coffee. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Because it's the subtlety. <laughs> and he's like, no, dude, that's boring. <laughs> he's like, I like the song, I like where it's going, I like the chorus, I like the vibe. Nobody's gonna give a shit about you walking to get coffee on a clear day. <laughs> even a rainy day would be better, right? Rainy is even sexier. And he informed me that, A, 
Lionel Richie writes songs about love and life and heartache, right? And feeling and emotion. Lionel Richie can get his, you know, somebody, somebody can get Lionel Richie coffee. He's a big star. He doesn't need to walk to the store. Lionel Richie's never going to walk about, you know, write about shit like that. So he made me go into a room and rewrite this song into something he thought made more sense to everybody, that everybody would care about. So we came up with this. When it's morning, when I wake up, the taste of summer sweetness on my mind. And it's a clear day in this city. Let's go dance under the street lights. All the people in this world, let's come together more than ever. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Well, come on over down to the corner. My sisters and my friends of every different color. Don't you feel that sunshine? Telling you to hold tight, things will be hard. Try to find a better life. Come on over down to the corner. My sisters and my brothers, they are for one another. Won't you come on over? Man, I know you wanna let yourself go. Oh, I know. Well, some people, it's a pity they go all their lives and never know how to love or let love go. But it's all right now. We're making through this somehow, and we'll paint the perfect picture. All the colors in this world will run together more than ever. Yeah. 